Alright guys, I got a quick video for you today. This video is on a raised bed garden that we created off of some scraps that we found. Now you see these, this shelving right here? This was found in a dumpster over by the grocery store, over by like some sort of preschool. You can see there's some like some kid stuff on there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna clean these up, uh, drill some holes into it, uh, throw some soil, put some veggies in, and uh, and see how that grows. Now you can see we're, we're drilling some holes in it right here. Uh, but these turned out to be some really good beds. There's my nephew right there. He's helping me out And we're scraping everything off drilling some holes into the bottom of this, of this shelving I uh, really take advantage of stuff that you have. Yeah, you can see here's some uh, holes in the bottom for some good drainage, uh, but uh, just to really right, you know Stuff that you have that, that can be used for, you know, multi-purpose things. Like these shelvings, obviously, were no good for shelving anymore. But uh, as you can see, like with the final product, we turned it into something that, uh, you know, can grow some nice organic, healthy vegetables. Now, uh, once we got the, the holes drilled, uh, that's when we started to put the soil in. Had a good soil mixture of a few different potting soils. Uh, and added some compost to it to give the veggies some, something to, uh, to thrive in and then give it a good mix. Now there you can see we've got all our dirt. Now we gotta lay our plants. Now I'm putting the final touches on. Yeah so we got two planters here with four different rows and uh, picked up a lot of tomatoes and also some peppers five different varieties of peppers from uh, jalapenos to yellow bell peppers uh, to hot peppers um, and we've got three different varieties of tomatoes one thing you gotta want to do before you transplant them is, is really soak them get them wet water them it makes it easy for the for the plant to kind of soak its roots into the new soil Plant it deep enough so that, you know, the plants can stand upright. Well, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys this, this final product right here. So if, if you like this, please uh, give me a like. And, and hopefully you can find some things around your house that you can use. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.